Hello, and welcome to a YouTube video on parcel misclosure due to label rounding for TBC, Trouble Business Center, version 410, and later. What is misclosure due to label rounding, you might ask? Well, in our label style manager, let's go ahead and adjust our label rounding. I'm going to change our length measurements or distance measurements to be rounded to the nearest tenth of a foot. Let's change our angles. I'll change the degree minute seconds to change our angle display. And let's round to the nearest minute. That way we can have a little bit of contrast. I've got a report here created already with um, the labels how they were before with the distance to the nearest hundredth of a foot and our angle display to the nearest second. And I will adjust on our arcs here as well. In a Triple Business Center, in order to calculate a misclosure due to label rounding, any arcs that you have in your project, you need to have enough information there in order to calculate the misclosure. For an arc, you need three pieces of information. I prefer the length, the radius, and the cord bearing, or cord azimuth. All right, so there we have our label style set up. We have it set up to display to the tenth of a foot and a minute of bearing, or an angle, azimuth. So on our CAD ribbon, we'll go to Create Kogo. And on the third tab, I've already um, entered in this subdivision. I've set up the first tab in the Create Kogo. In the second tab, I have entered in this subdivision using our command line entry. Um, check out the link in the video that's popping up now for uh, more information about that and how that works. And on the third tab, we have the map check. This is where parcels can be created, renumbered, labeled, etc. Also where the map check report is created. So let's go ahead and label our parcel. I only want to do parcel 9076. I've got a map check report created already with unrounded labels for parcel 9076, so we can compare and see what difference it made. So we'll add labels on there. For more information on setting up your label styles, check out this video that's popping up now for you. So here we have our labels. We have our, our distances are all rounded to the nearest tenth of a foot, as well as the radius of our arc, and all of our, or this cord bearing, as well as our line bearings, are all rounded to the nearest minute. So let's close out of the, close out of the label parcels, and we'll get into the map check report. So here we are for the map check report. Um, check out, there's another video that goes through this in detail, what everything is. Um, the page that we are looking at here is the labeling precision misclosure for parcel 9076. So here we have a misclosure due to label rounding of 55 thousandths of a foot and a precision due to label rounding of one to 7,800. This is our precision ratio. It is the perimeter of the parcel divided by the misclosure due to label rounding. I'll open up our previous map check report. Oh, here we only have 14 thousandths. So here on the unrounded labels, we'll go to our sketch. We have our distances with a precision to the thousandth of a foot and our bearings to the second. And then on our rounded labels, we have to the tenth of a foot and to the nearest minute. So the difference that that makes is a misclosure of 55 thousandths versus 14 thousandths. The reason we added label rounding in TBC is because often the digital file with the true unrounded values and where the map check report is computed can be lost over time. However, the map check report and print of the parcels with labels is likely to persist in a government office or land management file. 
The surveyor in the future who needs to retrace the parcel doesn't know about the true values that computed the misclosure, but just the values that they see on the plat. So in order to better recreate and document past work, TBC added the option to compute a misclosure from the rounded label values. And there's our misclosure due to label rounding. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you like, what you didn't like, what you'd like to know more about, and so on. As always, thanks for watching.